What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. What you saw there was my Trello board broken apart into the individual tasks and that's how I pick the video ideas that I'm going to do every day. So if you want to drop some video ideas be sure to join the Discord the link for the Discord is in the description below. I do a video every single day. That's the promise I've made to myself. And so today's video I thought we'd do 13 best places for web developers to work, except it's actually 10, and that's the meme because it's just, that was 13 reasons why intro. They have like the little Polaroids and stuff. And I thought that was a really cool effect. So I decided to incorporate that in my video, but it's actually going to be 10 places. So let's just jump right into the list. It's San Diego, California is number 10. The average salary there is about $77,000. And the percentage of rent, or the median rent that you pay every year is about $28,000, $29,000. The median house price is almost half a million dollars. So your percent of income to rent, you're gonna be spending roughly 37% of your income on rent. Um, you know, so it's not the best, but there's a lot of cities in the United States. So for that to make number 10, not so bad. So number nine, we have Seattle. And Seattle's home to Microsoft and Amazon. So it's, the cost of living is pretty similar to San Diego, California, but the average salary is slightly increased. So $83,000 a year is about the average salary in Seattle, Washington, and the average rent is going to be about 28, 29,000. It's pretty close to about 37% of your income per year that you'll be spending on rent. And the housing price again is roughly about $500,000, but you know, it's not, it's not the worst place. Uh, it has some very large tech companies if you've ever wanted to work for those. Okay, so next up we have Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas is a pretty good place to live because of the cost of living. It's just that the starting salaries in Austin, Texas aren't, aren't the best. I imagine they'll go up over time as Austin, Texas is kind of booming as a, as a tech hub right now. Um, you can expect the average salary to be about $73,000. You can expect a home to cost you about $270,000 and your rent is gonna be about $17,000 a year. Uh, uh, you know, median. So that's roughly 23% of your income, assuming you're making the average. But the other cost, you know, the cost of living there besides that is actually, you know, it's pretty cheap. So it, you can definitely check out Austin, Texas. They're, they're pretty, they're, they're booming right now. Okay, so next up, still Texas, but Dallas, Texas. I know you might be confused to be like, well, how is Dallas, Texas better than Austin, Texas. Well, the average salary is higher and the houses are cheaper. So in Austin, it's 270,000. In Dallas, it's roughly 235,000. The rent is also going to cost you about 15,000 a year down from 17,000 a year. Now it is slightly harder to find a job because there are less larger known companies there. But if you can get a job, then it's, you know, a more cost efficient place to live pretty much. So you can check out Dallas, Texas too, if you want. Boston, Massachusetts, all the way on the East Coast. And I know that you're like, what? But it actually has a lot of job opportunities there. Now the houses in Boston, like specifically Boston, Massachusetts, housing in Boston is roughly about $500,000. The average salary is about $93,000 and the average rent is about $30,000. So compared to the job opportunities, it's pretty affordable if you wanna work for you know, some good companies there. Uh, definitely in, in Boston, Massachusetts, that's a, that's a pretty good place to go. Five, I know you might be confused, but it's actually San Francisco, smack dab in the middle of the list. I know it's known for its you know, huge tech scene and all startup stuff, but it's more widely known because it's so expensive to live there. It, the, the median rent for people that pay, like on average, is like 52,000 a year in rent. And so the average salary is like, I don't know, roughly 104,000 for web developers there, but you're paying half of that in rent. So you're really only making 50,000 a year, right? Which is pretty average for junior web developers. Um, but then again, you get all the connections and, and all that additional stuff that you would get, um, you know, just, just because you can, you can network there. But what's funny is that the, the median housing price there is about $1.1 million dollars and the salary is like 9% of a house. So that would take you a very long time to purchase a house in San Francisco. Um, but you get all of the tech scene 
pretty much. Okay, so next up we have Washington DC. Now, if you don't mind working for the government, the average salary there is about $96,000. Housing prices are about $500,000, rents about $30,000 a year. Um, but if you don't mind working for Uncle Sam, you get all the benefits of working for the government, possible pension at the end. Um, so 96,000 minus 30,000 a year, that's your salary minus rent. And, and like, that's not even including taxes, but you get to get to work for the government if you don't mind working for Uncle Sam. Uh, it's, it's not too bad of a place. Okay, so next up we have Chicago. Chicago's average salary is about $92,000. The average rent is going to be about $19,000 and the home price is gonna be about $236,000 a year. So you can do the math on that. It's actually pretty affordable. I think it's like 36% um, in terms of salary as a percent related to the housing price, it's about 36%. So that seems more reasonable compared to if you're making $100,000 in San Francisco and the house cost 1.1 million in Chicago, you're making 90 something thousand dollars. And then the housing price is like 230 something thousand dollars. So much, much more affordable, much more reasonable to live there. Okay, so this is actually tied with Chicago. We have New York City, average salary is about $93,000. And the average housing price is about 536,000. And then the average rent was 27,000 a year. So, I mean, it's New York City, loads of job opportunities there. I mean, uh, it's a good place to live if you wanna deal with a smaller, you know, living space and a little bit more, it's a little bit pricey to live there, but you know, your job opportunities and networking ability is pretty, pretty close to other huge tech hubs. Okay, so next up we have Atlanta, Georgia, where I'm from. Average salary there is about $96,000. The average home price is about $244,000 and the average rent that you'll pay per year is about $15,500 a year. So it's pretty affordable when it comes to being able to live there. Um, now I'm from Atlanta and it's actually exploding. There's lots and lots of companies moving there because of all the tax breaks that tech companies are getting. Finally, Salt Lake City, where I live now, um, I'm really surprised that it wasn't like, wasn't huge in the research that I was doing, but there's a pretty massive tech scene and people are constantly moving here. A lot of companies in San Francisco are moving to Utah and they're actually calling Utah the Silicon Slopes now. So uh, there's a huge, just huge startup scene here. And there's also, you know, larger companies. We have Adobe, we have Oracle. Uh, we have a, a lot of you know, larger tech companies that are here. And the average salaries, I would say probably 78 to 80,000 a year. Average home price, that's it's not the best. So the home that I live in is 900 square feet, uh, livable up top space and like a half furnished basement, 500 square feet. And I paid, I think like 240,000 for this house. So 1500 square feet for 240,000. Um, and you can get a better deal with a lot more space in other places, but you know, there's only so much space between these mountains and these mountains in Salt Lake City. So that's just, that's just kind of how it is right now. So housing is, it's not insane. It's not like New York City. It's not like San Francisco, but it's a little bit expensive. Um, they're, they keep, you know, instead of building a house on a lot, they just build an apartment complex, a tiny little apartment complex. Like why, why put one family in there when you can build it vertically and pack 13 families in there and charge them all 2000 a month for 900 square feet, you know? So you can just kind of see that, but um, if, if you're okay with that, then there's a huge amount of job opportunities here. I get recruiter calls almost every day for, for jobs in Salt Lake City down in Lehigh or specifically like Salt Lake City where I, where I actually live. Um, and then the rent, rent's about 900 bucks for 900 square feet. So, uh, you know, nine times 12. So, you know, maybe 13, 14, $15,000, depending on how big your, your apartment is. Uh, it's pretty affordable when it comes to rent, but housing in itself, I've seen houses that go for like $500,000 and it's like a shack, so. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. I just wanna say thank you to Vlaslo, The Martin Fee, and Josh for supporting the channel. I know there's another Josh, um, but all, all the patrons that are supporting the channel, thank you so much. If you've ever, if I've helped you out and you've ever considered donating, um, you know, maybe consider me next time you do. I'd appreciate that. Um, I made some shirts, go get yourself a shirt. Constant hustle equals true because you know that's that's what it's about always always making that progress again If you like this video hit that little subscribe button and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video